to this week's weekly vlog. Would you like to know a secret? It's Wednesday and I've filmed not a single thing. Not one clip. Not a one. It's been a very boring week. I mean, I guess like the week days are always boring. Like I work, I cook, I clean, I go to sleep, I cuddle a cat somewhere in there. Um, but this week I just really haven't had like even my cats. They've just been lounging. They haven't been playing or being cute this week. Just lounging. And I have two, um, but not nearly as much as I'm going to be because something very exciting is happening today. We finally get our couch delivered. I am so excited. So obviously, I don't think I've really talked about it, but um, obviously you've seen my living room in clips in vlogs past and I, I just don't have furniture. We have a bed, that's it. We have like a fully furnished kitchen that's fine, but everything else is empty uh, because we did have roommates before this and we just never had furniture other than our bed. So we have a guest bed and now we have our new bed and now we have a couch. I'm so excited. It's delivered between 5.15 and 8.15 today, hopefully closer to 5.15 so that we can eat dinner and watch The Walking Dead all evening on our couch because that is what we are currently watching. Um, I'm actually, I'm just so excited. Um, date night actually this week, instead of like going out and doing something, going somewhere, eating dinner somewhere, it's going to be, we're going to order pizza, maybe some ice cream, and we are going to watch movies. We're actually going to watch um, one of the James Bond movies because when we were in Jamaica, we did this amazing, amazing boat trip where they took us all the way down the seven mile beach um, in Negril and we went into a couple caves and we got to swim in them. So one was this beautiful like bat cave with bats everywhere. And there were fossils in the caves. It was amazing. But the other one that we went into was one where they actually filmed this James Bond movie. And I can't remember which one it was. Austin knows, but that's the one we're going to watch. I'm very excited. We also have a lot of Halloween movies recorded on the DVR um, from Halloween uh, ABC. I don't know what it's called now, but it used to be ABC Family whatever, Freeform, that one. Um, they've been doing lots and lots of Halloween movies and I've recorded a lot of them, but I just, to watch TV, because we, I was very passionate about not having a TV in the bedroom. The bedroom is for two things. You can guess both of them. Um, so we didn't put a TV in there and it's been a little bit of a regret just because the only other option is the TV downstairs and we don't have a couch. So we've been sitting on folding chairs that are very, very uncomfortable. They make my butt hurt and so I never want to watch anything so we didn't want to watch any movies just we watch an episode of The Walking Dead here and there so hopefully now I know not hopefully I know my couch is very comfortable I sat on it um so I'm very excited to become the lounging on my chase lounge watching incredible movies for the rest of October so painting me that's where I'll be I will check in with you later when I have a couch. I'm so excited. Like an idiot, I forgot. Hi. Hello. I forgot to film the sofa yesterday. You can see everything that was in here is now over there. Need to take care of it. Can I help you, ma'am? No? Okay. Um, but this is it. I love her. Um, if you look close, it has like this nice herringbone pattern. Um, nice, sleek, lines which is my thing and we did do an ottoman and then yesterday i went to target and picked this tray up so that we could have like drinks over here since we're not doing a coffee table and i'm obsessed with her i mean milo we're about to cuddle here on my lunch break while i watch tv So Queen Elizabeth, we found out, is a daddy's girl. She is completely obsessed with him. Um, but every once in a while, she comes and just crawls in my lap and sits. And it's absolutely glorious. I'm so blessed. Hello, sir.
my low hello baby hi so yesterday a pest control man was knocking down on the doors on the neighborhood um to sell pest control as they do um and side note i previous to the job i'm at now i worked at a call center um in mortgage assistance and uh, there was always the question when we went through all the expenses um, are there any other miscellaneous housing expenses like lawn care, pest control? And I was always really shocked by the amount of people who paid like regular lawn care and pest control just because it was not something that I had ever paid for in my life growing up. Um, or my parents, I guess. Obviously, I wasn't paying for it. Um, but now I am an adult married woman who lives in Tennessee and pays bi-weekly pest control or bi-weekly lawn care and quarterly pest control. And it's just different for me. But... As the man was trying to sell it to us, um, he saw Milo and he was like, and, and you know, it's it's pet friendly. I see that you have a very pampered looking cat there. And I fear that by pampered, he meant fat. And I don't appreciate anybody insulting my cat like that. Austin swears that he did not mean that. But look at that face. He's an angel. I, I also took offense to the fact that he, in fact, he called him a cat because obviously this this here... It's not a cat. This is an angel. Yes, it is. Hi. Okay. Have you seen enough of him? I haven't. I'm going to continue to stare at him, but I'll stop the clip rolling now. In other news, my plan for today was to do absolutely nothing, as you can see. I did not make my bed. Um, I was going to stay in my pajamas. I was going to put no makeup on, not even brows. But then I remembered that yesterday they tried to deliver what I assume is my marriage license because it was in a very thin package and obviously it needed to be signed for so they could not just leave it at my doorstep. Um, and so my husband, my sweet husband, bless his sweet angel heart, he didn't answer the door because he never answers the door. He just expects them to leave the packages outside. And of course, this one he did sign for because it's like a legal document, you know, and um, he didn't he didn't do that. So they left and they put a little sign on my door. And um, now I have to go to UPS, which means I had to get dressed and put brows on. But this is it. This is this is what they're getting. Um, the same hair that I have slept in. I did put on my little Nebraska shirt. And some brows. I'm very upset that I have to leave the house. Date night is even going to be we're getting pizza and watching movies on the new couch. Um, and so I'm very, I'm very sad that I'm currently not in my Thunder shirt and Walmart sweatpants. So, um, there's that. I'm, I'm upset. And now I'm really upset because the little sister girl using her claws in my mattress, ma'am. Thank you. Being a cat parent is hard. It's very hard. Unless it's for this angel. <laughs> Hi, sweet. Look at his face. You can't. He's sitting on my kitchen towels that I haven't brought downstairs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, hello. I love you. Okay, bye. Oh, never mind. Hi. Look at those eyes. Am I obsessed with him? Absolutely, yes, 100%. disappointed in this corn maze there are not corn there's not corn everywhere it's very short it was supposed to be four acres I don't think it's four acres it does doesn't it <laughs> did we get a dead end we failed
success. We made it out. Did you figure out the trick, babe? Yep. Just follow, follow the, the clear path. path. Not the grass. Always choose the mud. Oh, that wasn't even the corn maze. <sighs> there is a four acre corn maze, isn't there? <laughs> As it turns out, I was wrong. We found the corn maze. You cannot see up. I'm pleased this is what I came for. But now Austin's figured out the trick, so it's gonna take like two minutes to get through this thing. Are you excited, Austin? Uh-huh. Are you pumped? Uh-huh. Is this the most fall fun you've ever had? This makes me want carbs. <laughs> it makes me want carbs. Same. But I always want carbs, so. Austin has um, thought that there may be a little bit of defeat here because there's mud on all tracks except for obvious dead ends. He said, I may not know the system as well as I thought I did. So we'll see if it actually takes 15 minutes to get through this as advertised or more. My guess goes to more. I'd gotten it down, but look what we found. All right, where to, sir? He's ignoring me now. He's upset at his defeat. We made it. Did we do it in 15 minutes? Yes. Hell yeah. Nailed it. We just finished at the pumpkin patch. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> Hold on, just having a moment here today. Um, Austin just ran in to get some drinks at the gas station and then we are headed home. I have a lot of cleaning to do this weekend and the weekend is almost over. It's already two o'clock on Sunday, but I'm fine. It's fine, I'm gonna get my stuff done, you know? It's fine. Um, the um, pumpkin patch was really fun. I was kind of hating on it a little in the beginning there because I was just not, not a fan of that, um, the first little corn maze I don't know what that was I don't know what the point of it was when you go to the back of the farm and there's this huge like the actual four acre corn maze that was advertised as well as a kitty one um which was really cute we didn't go into that one I'd have enough pump uh, not pumpkin patch I'd had enough corn maze at that point um we didn't buy any pumpkins just because we really didn't decorate for fall this year because we are busy buying like, our actual furniture because we don't have any um but Christmas y'all it's on I actually need I picked up a few Christmas decorations last time I was at Walmart and I do need to haul those so I will check on with you later on those but other than that um corn, I keep going to say the wrong thing pumpkin patch it was a really nice pumpkin patch there was quite a lot to do um obviously would be more fun with kids but we don't have those yet maybe next year no not next year but soon Austin's coming back and he's gonna make fun of me so 